Hey there everybody, hope you're enjoying your pineapple summer while my hair takes a little pineapple slumber. Today we're going to learn how to leave proper and respectful internet comments on YouTube music videos. Now I find music videos to be an often overlooked form of art. And speaking of overlooked, I wanted to point out this music video in particular called Fell in a Well by Songwriter X and the Skeleton Band. <laughs> The song is surprisingly catchy, but what I'm really drawn to is the music video itself. It tells the story of a man punished by love. Hey, for your body brain, can you look me in the eye and tell me you don't care for me? A tragic parable that all too many of us can relate to. However, the real tragedy here is that this video doesn't even have 20,000 views yet. Well, all I can hope for is that the comments on this video are nice and respectful. Oh shit, they actually are. Cool video, awesome music. Whoa, wonderful. I love this piece. Sub and thumbs up. Manako. The song is so amazing. The song is good, the video is scary as hell. I can't believe skeletons are real. Well, would you look at that? It's pretty rare that we find a comment section online that doesn't need our help whatsoever, which is why Phil and Well is going to get the very first internet comment etiquette Comentica Award for Perfect Comment Section. Sorry about the wine rings, I've been using this thing as a coaster. I didn't think I'd ever hand it out. Say so you're gonna live with me, my little butterfly. What confounds me still is that view count. You'd think with today's online climate, people would be clamoring to get some of that sweet etiquette nectar going on in that comment section. So today I'm gonna help out by comparing Fell in a Well to some more contemporary YouTube music video hits and see just what advice we can give Songwriter X and his skeleton band so they can make that big money. You know, that pineapple flavored salvia money. I'm talking about that United Airlines broke my grandpa's nose money. What the fuck is this shit, LaMau? Ah, shit. All right, well, there goes that award. <laughs> Hey, what do you say we jump right into it? Here's a popular music video called Rolex by A.O. and T.O. Vivo. Well, that's a stupid fucking name. And... Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All I ever wanted was a rolly, rolly. Yeah. All I ever wanted was a rolly, rolly. I can't help you with that. Karate taught that beat like a sensei. <laughs> hey. What's going on in these comments? This song makes me want to blow out the cake and eat the candles. This song makes me want to write with a paper and a pencil. This song makes me study for the drug test. This song makes me want to pant my poops. This makes me want to drink pizza. This song makes me want to eat my dog's home. This song makes me dance. It's like there's some kind of inside joke that I'm just not a part of. Oh, no, they're getting weird now. This song makes me want to stick hot Cheetos in my asshole. That was a fucking load of shit. Mm, well, the important lesson here is if you see a bunch of people all doing the same bit, you better do that bit. All right. This song makes 9-11. I want to investigate the real story behind me while Ted Cruz sucks my mouth with his balls. Hey, did you guys hear that America's taking away all its immigrants' jobs? I'd go protest, but then a gun might shoot me with its cop. Peace out, I make so much money that I donate charities to the bank. And toast! My final takeaway from that Rolly Rolly music video is that young kids will watch anything so long as the artist is within their age group. Now, I'm not sure how that helps Songwriter X and the Skeleton Band because, you know, they're skeletons. So, maybe this next music video will be more helpful. Imagine Dragons, Vivo, Believer. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. Okay, well, I'm starting to realize that I can't play too much of this song because I don't want to get hit with a false copyright claim on YouTube, which is why I installed this fair use button on my laptop. And fair use. There we go. Trying to send me a copyright claim now, you fucking weasels. <laughs> And then you know we got another running gag in the comment section. I let my house listen to this. Now it's a skyscraper. I let my fidget spinner listen to this. Now it's a fidget cube. I let my mother listen to this. Now she's my father. I let my glass of water listen to this. Japan just got attacked by the biggest tsunami ever. Ah, uh, you know, they're just kids having fun. I, I don't have to understand what the fuck they're trying to do here. I mean, there's plenty of stuff about being an adult that none of these kids understand, which reminds me of a story. When I was a young boy, dreaming in the backseat of my parents' car, I used to fantasize about what it would mean to grow older, to become my parents' age even, with all of their knowledge about the world and the way things work. In my fantasies, I imagined that perhaps we became telekinetic, could suddenly fly, 
We're any myriad of superhuman abilities, and grown-ups just couldn't tell us yet because we wouldn't understand. I dreamt that one day when I turned the right age, the grown-ups would sit me down with a, hey there, here's the truth about it all. As I aged, this fantasy joined the rest of my juvenile mind and being stored away for memory's sake. As I grow older still, now near my parents' age, when I was but a child dreaming in the backseat of their car, I realized the only thing the grown-ups hid from us is that no matter how many times you thumbs down an Imagine Dragons song, Spotify will continue putting it in your Discover Weekly playlist. And post! Alright, well now let's see what it looks like when the artist doesn't have the word Vivo in their name. Well, tweet that to Ted Cruz. Hey, you guys remember Weezer? Well, now they're called Weezer Vivo and Play Nap. Now these guys actually are old enough to be skeletons, so let's see how they manage to stay relevant. Real quick though, fair use button. Dude! Alright, thanks Weezer Vivo, let's leave our comment. These are the best looking grandpas I've ever seen, holy shit. Please tell me your secret so I can sell it to the Shadow Masters who have me in the hole for a lot of money because I made a bet with them that Weezer wasn't still making music as I figured the retirement home they all live in doesn't have a recording studio. But hey, should've known these scene point fucks were spirit cooking themselves into eternal youth. Keep it 100 Weezer, as in I hope you're still making music when you turn 100 next year. And post! Well, I've got a pretty extensive list of notes here for the Skeleton Man, but it's still missing something that crucial piece of information that's going to help them get the recognition that they deserve. Maybe this will help. The Sound of Silence by Disturbed. Hello, darkness, my old friend. This guy's going to start screaming any second now. The sound of silence. Oh shit, that's right, it's a cover song. Well, I'll bet Simon and Garfunkel are really happy about the resurgence that this cover gave their song. Wait a second! Cover song, of course! Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Alright, well, real quick, let me hit that fucking fair use button. Pag pagkain probinsya ang pinag-uusapan, you can be sure that Pampanga always stops the list dahil sa maraming dishes na pinauso nito. And there is no other kapampangan ulam na mas sikat pa dan sisig. Lalo pang pinasarap ang sizzling pork recipe na ito ng ating lutong nanay recipe. Poop, poop, poop! Don't trust China and copy-paste penis fart, and whatever, uh, hologram machine, and dial! Hello? Hot Dad here? Hey Eric, it's me, Eric. Am I hologram right now? Yeah, pretty sick, huh? What camera am I supposed to look in, though? Yeah, it's the... Is the, it? Is no, it? to the... No, 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 no. What's the over other, here? To your the, there's left? The, there's one over here, left. I've seen this. No, to uh, the... Ah, what look. about this one? Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, well now that we got that out of the way, hey, have you heard of Songwriter X and the Skeleton Band? I love them. Shame about their YouTube views, though. Funny you should mention that. I've been doing some research on YouTube, and I found that cover songs are super hot right now. So maybe we could get them some more attention if you do a cover of, uh, oh, I don't know, Fell in a Well? That's my favorite song. Let's do it. I'll be right back. All right, Eric. I did it. You mean like you got the instruments ready, or? No, I covered the whole song. All right, well, that was fast. Oh, and I'm in it, huh? You did a great job. I'm in a well, cause with you I fell, you pushed me down. Well, Eric, I remain impressed by your quick turnaround times. Oh, by the way, put Vivo in the title of this thing. I ain't gonna say no to that. And Vivo. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Hot Dad, and I'm gonna hit you with the fair use button. What the hell is this? I'm just covering my ass, bitch. Am I in a dream? See ya. Hi. There we go. Hopefully Hot Dad's Endeavor here will drive some traffic back to the original Felon Well, along with a comment I'm about to leave on how to make a popular music video based on all, all the things I learned in this lesson thus far. Witness me! Dear Songwriter X and the Skeleton Band, Big Fan Salvi here. I have scoured the depths of YouTube to see how you fine bony boys can best optimize your music channel. My findings are as follows. Put Vivo in your name, sing about materialistic needs, try to get a running joke going in the comments, act super mysterious in a cute way so that Vice writes an article about you. Do the festival circuit because it's the only way musicians make money. Smoke weed on camera, stay away from politics, start a blog, get a SoundCloud before they go bankrupt, do a Reddit AMA, apologize to your YouTube fans for avoiding politics, make a song about gender fluidity, start drama with another skeleton 
skeleton-based band. But most importantly, put Vivo in your name. Anyway, I can't wait to become a skeleton so I can play the bongos with you. And post-helpful advice. All right, well, I think it's safe to say that Songwriter X and the skeleton band now have all the tools they need to become a powerhouse in the YouTube music video scene. You're welcome, guys, and it wouldn't have been possible without all of us learning a little bit of internet comment etiquette along the way. Well, I guess that's the show. Actually, you look like you've got something you need to say. Who, me? I'm just a ghost. What the fuck? Big money Come see what the government's trying to hide from you on the salviaeric.com store. If you hate globalists just as much as I do, you're gonna want to shove it in their face that if you sailed too far in any direction in a boat, you'd fall off a disc. Also, check out these old school classics. Remember the internet comment etiquette t-shirt? Well, now it comes in black and white. Just like the legal system when it comes to not being fit to have, <laughs> have kids. Money. 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 Money.